Hi, it's Wine Invisible Songstress, and I have a new song today. This is called Information That's Divine, Part 8. The truth is above everything, and there are seven other parts that you can listen to if you just search for Information That's Divine on the channel, you'll be able to find the others. So some words to explain to you in case you do not know what they mean. The word Torah is what some people call the Old Testament. The Torah actually consists of both the written and the oral Torahs that were given to Moshe and Moses on Har Sinai, Mount Sinai. Tzaddik is a righteous per person. Hashem is what we call the name, so we don't use his name in vain and we show respect. Shabbat is the holiest day of the week. It's the seventh day. Borei Olam is the creator of the world. Uh, Minyan is a quorum of ten men that come together to pray in the synagogue. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the Holy One, blessed is He. Um, Yitbarach is be blessed. Emet is truth. Uh, Shul is a synagogue. Goya is a Gentile. Teshuva really means to return, but people call it repentance. Avinu Shabashamayim is our Father in Heaven. Gula is redemption. Moshiach is the Messiah, and Amen is so be it. And also Tzahal is what some people um, call the Israel Defense Force. I have a different name uh, explanation for it that you'll hear actually in the song. Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi says it does not matter if you like what I say or not, or if it makes you feel uncomfortable or angry. As I can only tell you the truth and what it says in the Torah and not from my own opinions. I am not here to find favor in the public eye by telling the best jokes and sugarcoating with endless lies. I am not here to pacify you and tell you that you are a tzaddik and you will not be punished if you violate the laws of Hashem. If you desecrate the Shabbat, there is a price to pay, and it is stated in the Torah twelve times what will be your fate. There is no allowance for driving on Shabbat to a synagogue to pray. If you are violating the covenant with the Boreolam, there will be consequences no matter what anyone, no matter what anyone else says. Hashem never asked you or I for any input when he wrote his divine book, or maybe a suggestion would have been to let you off the hook because you wanted to come and pray with a minion. But again, a Kaddish Baruch Hu did not take a polar wand, our opinion. I say Baruch Hashem for everything you do, Rabbi Misrahi. As a true soldier in the army of Hashem, that is what I call Tzahal, Tzvah Haganal Hashem. May you continue to bring light and share the light of Hashem Yitbarach and the truth the way it ought to be said. There are no discounts or shortcuts ever allowed when it comes to the Torah and the Rabbi Mizrahi says the truth is above everything, no matter what anyone tells you to. And to reiterate again, he does not speak from his own viewpoint, only what is in the holy divine book written by the creator of the world. Why are the speakers of today afraid to say the truth when Hashem already wrote it in his book and is crystal clear for all to see? With no fog that clouds the vision, and yet the decision of some is to please the people and raise a glass in a toast to the wealthy Jew who lives with a Goya Christine, but gives plenty of charity to his local show, and then it is, that is his way to compensate and relax his conscience for not following the commandments and rules that were given to each and every one of the Jewish nation on her Sinai. It is high time to instill the fear of heaven, namely a punishment, in every human of what is done in private and in public. As all is watched and heard by the Creator of the world and recorded for the future to come when it is time for your judgment day. 
and no bribes or favoritism is shown to anyone. Your life is an open book for all to see. Nothing is left out, all is revealed. Never forget, so you have no regrets. The truth is above everything, so you will stand a better chance at your trial in heaven. If you seek the truth now in this physical world and follow the will of Hashem, you may yet have a chance to change your verdict. As HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepts Yeshua to your very, Kadosh Baruch Hu accepts Yeshua to your very last breath. But since we do not know when that is, live at each moment as if it is your last and repent. May Hashem Yitbaharach give you Rabbi Yosef, Mizrahi, health, strength, and continued success in bringing more Jewish souls back to Avinu Shabbat 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 in complete Teshuvah, and may we all merit it soon to live and see the Geula with the coming of Mashiach. Speedily in our hard days, oh, 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 may, and may we all merit soon to live and see the Geula with the coming of Mahashiach. Speedily in our hard days, amen. Thanks for listening, one invisible songstress.